Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In the last video, we have seen the procedure to create a mechanical model using Bricks CAD. In this video tutorial, I'll show you the procedure to create 2D views from this 3D model. If you have missed my recent video on 3D modeling and dimensioning this mechanical component, please click on the link provided at the upper right corner of this video as well as at the description section. Before creating 2D views from this 3D model, I would like to turn off all the dimensions which are performed. Now the layer panel is open. So I'll click on zero layer to make it current. Then I'll turn off the dimension layer. Now the dimensions got turned off and you can see little dots over here. And these dots are nothing but reference points used to perform dimension. And these points are created automatically in the def points layer. So I'll just turn off this layer as well. Now I'll click on this button, then I'll save this file. I'll switch over to the mechanical module of Bricks CAD by right clicking at the modeling button at the status bar. Then I'll click on mechanical. Likewise, by right clicking at this particular button, you can switch over from one module to another interactively in Bricks CAD. In the mechanical module, on the left side, you can see two tabs. Over here, we have a mechanical browser, which will show you the complete construction history of operations which you perform. And when you click on components, you will get the component library. You can open any desired component from here and you can drag drop into the drawing. We'll see all those things later in another video. And on the right side, we have the properties panel. At the bottom, we have the model tab, layout one tab and layout two tab, similar to the tabs which you see in AutoCAD. Now I'll click on the layout one tab and this layout is used for plotting. You can see the mechanical component over here. I'll click on this border and hit delete to erase this viewport. You can control the dimensions and properties of the sheet of paper. So what I'll do is I'll just right click on the layout one tab and click on page setup. Now you can choose the plotter. I'll choose Microsoft uh, print to PDF because I would like to plot to the PDF file or else you can choose any desired plotter which is connected to your computer. I'll choose Microsoft print to PDF. Now I'll change the paper size from A4 to A3. Now just look at the orientation of the paper. It is landscape. You can just click on landscape if it is not selected. Then I'll give OK. Now what you see on the screen is an A3 size paper. Let's plot multiple views of the mechanical component on this A3 size sheet. I'll close the components panel because I'm not gonna insert any components now. Next I'll click on the model tab to go to the black screen which is the model space. In order to generate multiple views from this mechanical model, you have to click on the annotate tab then click on the base view or else you can give the view base command using the keyboard so i'll click on the base view so it'll ask you to perform a selection you can select the entire model or you can use any of the normal object selection methods to perform the selection i'll click on the entire model now it'll ask you to enter a new or existing layout name wherein the multiple views are to be created so I'll choose the existing layout, which is layout one. So give an enter. Now what you see here is a preview of a view. If you want, you can change this default view. For that, you can click on orientation and you can choose any desired view. If I click on top, I'll be seeing the top view, but I don't want that. I would like to get the front view as a reference view. So click on orientation and choose front. And you can also choose a number of parameters. You can just click on the view quality. I don't want to do that. I'll just cancel it. You can go for hidden lines. You can choose a desired scale. I'll click on the scale. So you'll get a number of options to specify the scale. Fit for view means the size of the object will be automatically adjusted to accommodate four such views. And that is a default view. I'll go to scale again and I'll choose fit nine views. So this will be even smaller because nine such views will be accommodated on this paper. And I'll go to scale again and I'll choose 10 views. 
so the scale of the object will get further reduced or else you can go for any standard scales wherein the standard scales of 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2 etc will be listed. I'll choose 1 is to 1, this is the actual scale. Okay, likewise you have a number of options to specify the scale. Now I would like to fix the first friend view over here. Just click on that and when you move the mouse rightward, you will be actually seeing a projection from the left side. So this is a left side elevation. I would like to locate it right here. And when you drag it leftward, you will get a right side elevation. It will be the view which you get when you look from this side, which is the right side elevation. When you drag it straight down, it will be a plan view or a top view. And when you drag it at an angle, so you will get an isometric view in which the front, left and top will be visible. And when you drag it this way, you will get a different isometric in which front, back and top will be visible. So this is how you insert multiple views in the existing layout. I'll just give an enter to confirm this. Next, I'll create one more layout to place views. So I'll click on the view base command again and I'll choose the entire model. This time, I'll choose the second layout. So I'll type layout 2. Then I'll give an enter. So the second layout is chosen. Now let's see the isometric geometry option in the view base command. When you click on isometric geometry, you will get 2D views and 3D views. The 2D views draws isometric views as 2D drawings. And the 3D views draws isometric views as 3D solids with conceptual visual styles applied. So I'll click on the 3D views and I'll place friend elevation here, left side and right side elevations as we have done before at respective locations. Now I'll place the friend left top isometric over here and friend back top isometric over here and I'll give an enter. Now you can see that since I have chosen 3D views, the isometric geometry is represented with conceptual visual style. And this can be changed later on. I'll click on the viewport border and I'll click on conceptual and I'll select uh, the shaded with gray option and over here click on this particular viewport and I'll change it to X-ray. Next I'll go back to model space then I'll create one more base view on a third layout. So how do you create a new layout? For that I'll just click on the plus sign over here and you have got the layout 3. Now I'll select the view base command again choose the entire model, then I'll type layout 3. I'll click on isometric geometry and I'll choose 2D views and I'll place my friend elevation over here and the first isometric view here and the second one here and give an enter. Now you can see that the isometric geometry is shown as 2D drawings because I've chosen 2D views in the isometric geometry option in the view base command and even if I try to change the visual style of such views it's not possible so I'll select the viewport border and if I click on the shades of gray you can see that the view is not reflecting the change even after creating these views you can create projections I'll erase these two views which I've created now I'll click on projected views and I'll select this view as the base view when you move the cursor rightward you can again make projections from it and leftward one more projection and you can create the right side elevation so you have a lot of flexibility in creating views next we will see the procedure to create the sectional views i'll erase these two views and i'll click on sectional view when you click on sectional view you can go for different types of sections such as full section, half section, offset section, align section, etc. I'll click on full section. Then it'll ask you to select the view. I would like to create a section from this view. So just click on this view. Next, you are asked to define the section plane. I'll pick two points to define the section plane. I'll just left click here to place it. 
Now you are given a sub menu using which you can control all the parameters such as scale, hidden lines, etc. So I would like to retain the existing scale of 1 is to 1. So give an enter to accept it. Next we will try a half section. So click on section view again and select half section view. Now it will ask you to select the view from which you want to generate the sectional drawing. So I'll click on this view. Now I am asked to specify the start point of the section line. I'll pick a point over here. Then one more pick here to define the next point. One more pick here to define the next point on the section plane. Now the sectional view is generated which is a half sectional view and I'll left click here to locate this view. Now you can control all these parameters if required. I don't want to do that so just give an enter. You can also try out the offset section view and align section view. In both these cases you may have to pick more number of points to define the section plane and you will get interesting sectional views. You can turn off the borders around these objects by turning off or freezing the drafting viewports layer. So I'll just freeze the drafting viewports layer and the borders are frozen. I'll undo this operation. Next I'll print this layout. But before that I would like to insert a title block. I have already created a title block drawing so I'll open it. Next I'll take this title block onto the layout which we have created. Now I'll select the entire title block then I'll press Ctrl+C c to copy it. Then I'll activate this drawing tab to open the drawing. Then I'll press Ctrl V to paste it. Now you can see that the size is small. So I have to scale it to match with the dimensions of the layout which is the A3 size. So I'll draw a line standing from this edge of the paper. Then the length of that line is 420 units which is the length of the A3 size sheet. Now I'll move this title block with this corner as the base point and this end point of the line which we have just now drawn as a second point. Now I'll scale the title block using the scale command in the modify panel. I'll select the entire title block and I'll choose this end point as the base point. Then I'll go to the reference option. So click on reference. Now it will ask you for a reference scale. A reference scale when you are asked you can pick this end point as well as this end point. Now you are asked to specify the second point. You can choose this end point as a second point. Hence we have scaled this title block to match with the dimension of the paper using the reference option of scale command. Now let's go for a print. So I'll click on the print command. I would like to plot the layout. The paper size is set as A3. You can preview the layout. The preview is perfect. Now you can press escape to come back to the print dialog box. Now click on print. I would like to keep the print on the desktop. I'll call it as mechanical drawing. Save it. Now this is the drawing which I have created. It's perfect. So this is how you create a mechanical model and print various views from it such as plan, elevation, sections etc. in a single sheet of paper. Hope this video was informative. Until I catch you in another interesting video on BricsCAD. Bye bye and take care. Please don't forget to hit the like button of this video if you liked it. Thanks for your time.